Indonesian Aerospace N245 is an Indonesian turboprop airliner being developed by Indonesian Aerospace. A refinement of CASA, IPTNC N235, the N245 is designed for greater passenger capacity and lower operating costs than the CN235. The N245 has a longer body, and a newer engine type, AT tail and no ramp door. Design and development When President Joko Widodo took office, he ordered the revival of several Indonesian aircraft in order to boost the Indonesian economy, including the N-250 which captured world attention in 1997. After the successful revival of the N-219 aircraft, Indonesian Aerospace decided to make a better and larger aircraft, and chose the N-245, a 50-seat turboprop airliner, as the N-219 successor. The airliner was named N-245 for the Spirit of 45, Indonesia's 1945 independence. The program to produce the N-245 began in 2016. Indonesian Aerospace also stated its intention to produce the N270, the 70-seat version of the N245 and the N219. The design phase was to begin in 2017 and the first N245 was to be done by 2020. The Indonesian government pledged to provide a total of $44 million to develop the aircraft. On the 8th of December 2016, the Indonesian Ministry of Industry opined that the N245 and the Rai R80, another turboprop aircraft to be built by Indonesian Aerospace, should be designated as strategic national projects. On the 10th of February 2017, the N245 and the R80 were added to the project list. Due to this decision, the government was to prioritize the development of both aircraft, and accelerate the production timetable, saying that both aircraft could make a first flight as soon as 2019. In July 2017, Indonesian Aerospace announced that it has entered into an agreement with Turkish Aerospace Industries to collaborate in the development of N245 and N219. Under a framework agreement, the two organizations will work together on technical aspects as well marketing initiatives. TIE's portfolio includes licensed production of General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon Jets, SIAI Marchetti SF.260 Trainers, Cougar as 532 Search and Rescue and the N-235, which the N-245 is based on. The collaboration is expected to facilitate the conversion of the N-245 from an aircraft designed for lightweight transport into a cost-effective commuter airplane. Initial report specifically cited TIE's involvement in the conceptual design activities of the N-245. Aside from the N-245, the agreement also covered the joint development of a new medium-altitude, long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle that will have a capability to operate in an altitude of 40,000 feet. 